Welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code this side so in this question we are going to discuss today's POTD minimum steps to reach destination what does the problem say the problem says that you are at position 0 you are at position 0 let me change the ink size you are at position 0 right this seems fine now you have to reach a destination D this is given to you as input this is the only input provided to you now you can either go towards right direction or you can go towards your left direction you can either go towards right or you can go towards your left right but the condition is on the ith move you have to move i steps you have to move i steps it is your will to move them towards right or to move them towards left take it as a number line suppose the number line is minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 one two three four five you are here you have to reach here right what are the series of steps you will take what are the series of steps you will take so my first move i can go here or i can go here suppose i go he here right so my first move i reach one my second move that is zero plus one i reach one right my second move i have to move two steps now so i i can go towards three also okay so i will go towards 1 plus 2 equals to 3 my position is 3 now at the third step i have to move three moves that is i have to add or i have to subtract any of these okay so 3 plus 3 is equals to 6 3 plus 3 is equals to 6 now you can see that i have to reach 5 but i am at 6 right i have reached out of out of the limits right but can i revert that thing can i revert that thing how can i do that i will say at fourth operation I have to add something let's say 6 plus 4 equals to 10 right? I reach the 10th position but at fifth operation I will say 10 minus 5 that is going towards your left 10 minus 5 equals to 5 so in this particular operation I have reached 10 I reached 10 and then reverted back to 5 and the number of operations required were number of operations required were this was a first move second move third move fourth move fifth move so I took at uh, uh, I acquired five steps. My answer to this question will my answer to this uh, this case will be five. Such that there are many cases possible, and I have to return the number uh, minimum number of steps required. I have to tell the minimum number of steps required. Now before proceeding with this with the algorithm, I I would like to prove it to you that it is possible to reach any D. It is possible to reach need how can i be so sure about it so i'm sure about it because i am saying on ith move i have to move i steps right i have to move i steps now it is sh uh, surely uh, visible to you that uh, one is a factor of all the numbers is a factor of all the numbers all the numbers so if i try to define you that there can be at as many ones i want as many ones i want i can take I can form two uh, one d number of d number of times one. That is, I can or uh, I can generate one d number of times. How I will say at the ith move move i st steps towards right, and in the i plus one th move move i plus one steps towards left. So you, if you move i steps towards right and i plus one steps towards left. You are actually moving a difference of minus 1 towards left and you revert the operation uh, that is i steps towards left and i plus 1 steps towards right you are actually moving right by one step so, see so you are able to generate one step so what is the maximum number possible what is the maximum number possible so you are able to see i have to get d number of steps i have to i have to reach destination d that is i have to get d number of ones right and in making one one i am taking two operations i am taking two operation right so my maximum answer will be 2 into d my maximum answer will be 2 into d i have to find an answer which is less than 2d i have to find an answer which is less than 2d what will i do i will start the recursion i will start the recursion how will i start the recursion how did i get the idea of recursion as i stated above i can either go towards left or towards right i can either go to minus 1 or towards 1 that will I use I will use that only I will say let me make an helper function which will take my n which will take my n 
and which will take my and and let us say my step number which is stored in step which will tell me how many steps do I have to move towards right or left and which is my position this is sorry not n this is d this is the final position I have to reach now if my position equals to equals to d return your uh, return your step that is on you are on the step, step now but if step is greater than 2d in that case return int max return int max right otherwise the two cases to you are towards the left now when you are going towards the left your position is actually decreasing so you will call the helper function for d step plus one because in the next step you have to take step plus one number of steps and position will be subtracted by step numbers right this is for left one and similarly for the right one helper d step plus one and it will be incremented pause plus step you have to take the minimum of these you have to take the minimum of these this is the recursion function but the problem is as usual recursion doesn't work on the problems where we have to return a number only where we have to return a number only usually it doesn't work so how will i do it i will try to optimize the code i will try to optimize the code now you can add dp by yourself i guess because i haven't not i have not tried dp using it i have tried to do something intuitively so i'm not telling you the intuitive approach i hope that I, uh, so i'm not telling you dp approach i hope you will try dp on your own and if that code works please attach it in the comment section i will surely pin it right okay but let us move towards the intuitive approach i saw intuitive approach i thought of what is the intuitive approach suppose i have to reach the d as 3 i have to reach d as 3 i'm starting at position 0 i'm starting at position 0 my step count is currently 0 my step count is currently 0 my position is also 0 let me take all the step towards right let me take all the step towards right let me take all the step towards right okay so d is equals to 3 i am saying i am saying that i am at position 0 right i in the first step i will move towards 1 in the second step i will move towards 3 right 1 plus 2 equals to 3 so i actually achieved 3 so what is the number of steps 1 plus 2 oh, sorry not only 2 only it will be only 2 my answer will be 2 no problem but in the case of d equals to 2 see in the case of 3 you can see that 1 plus 2 is actually giving me 3 and that is the minimum possible right if i am already incrementing everything right but what is the case of d equals to 2 you can see 1 is occurring and then 3 is occurring 2 is not occurring 2 is actually getting lost in between how can i reach 2 so for that what will i do i will say pause equals to 0 in the first step move towards 1 right in the second step move towards negative move towards negative that is left direction this is right direction this is left direction so i will reach minus one and in the third step again move towards right so it's one minus one plus three is two so i actually reach two how many steps did i take i take three steps i take three steps now can i use this intuitively what do i mean by intuitively what was my approach i took one then i subtracted two then i added three to reach this final value can i present this as one plus 2 plus 3 minus 2 minus 2 which is equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 2 into 2 minus 2 into 2 right this is the sum of the three steps this is the sum of the three steps and this is the difference i have to take this is the difference i have to take my whole approach is that sum minus let us take i let us make this i that to sum minus 2i because you can see it is occurring two times is equals to target that is sum minus target equals to 2i see it is actually very clear it is actually very clear that i will have to take the number of steps which take my sum greater than target greater than equals to sorry greater than equals to target these are the minimum steps right these are the minimum steps the answer will be greater than or equals to right the answer will be greater than the or equals to the steps required to reach this condition but this is not the only sufficient condition this condition states that I, that I have to reach a position that my sum minus target becomes equals to 2i now what do i mean by 2i i is an arbitrary constant variable i choose right but 2 is a constant here and whenever i attach a 2 with something in a multiplication form i mean to say that this number is now even that is this difference is now difference is even 
so i actually got my intuition what is my intuition i will start with sum equals to 0 or you can say position equals to 0 my step is equals to 0 right and what will i do i will say while my sum is less than my d while sum is less than my d this is the first approach this is the first uh, condition you have to take or in the or you will take this condition that is sum minus target percentile 2 is not equals to 0 that is it is not even it is actually odd in that case what you will do you will increment your step because you have to take a step and you will increment your sum by the number of steps right because in the ith move you have to move i is number of steps right and you will see that you have got your answer in the form of step you have got your answer in the form of step for example the example we saw d equals to 10 how will i proceed with it so d equals to 10 my sum is equals to 0 my step is equals to 0 currently right so my first move that is my first iteration i will see that sum is less than 10 i will say step plus plus make it 1 and sum plus equals to step so 0 plus 1 gives me 1 now after that i see 1 is still less than 10 so increment it it becomes 2 1 plus 2 gives me 3 still less increment it it becomes 3 3 plus 3 gives me 6 increment it like th uh, 3 incremented to 4 and now i will add 4 it will become 10 it will become 10 and after 10 i can see that this approach this 10 is actually very equals to this 10 this 10 is actually very equals to this 10 right so i can say in four number of steps in four number of steps i am able to reach the value i want let us try it for d equals to 5 let us equals to 5 as well right so my sum is currently 0 my step is currently 0 right first i will increment my step that is 0 changes to 1 i will then i will add 1 okay sum changes to 1 increment it 2 then add becomes 3 increment it 3 then add becomes 6 now 6 is actually greater than 5 6 minus 5 is divided by 2 but it is not in perfect division that means 6 minus 5 is not even that means i will have to proceed change it to 4 and then add becomes 10 10 minus 5 is still 5 and not divisible change it to 5 and then add that is it becomes 15 15 minus 5 is equal to 10 which is an even number that means i will it will require me at least 5 moves to reach d equals to 5 what are those 5 moves what are those 5 moves let us try to get it done okay so in the first case when we saw the example we took out 5 steps we took out 5 steps for d equals to 5 and you can see this is the answer of the minimum approach only see i was uh, i was launching an arrow in the dark i didn't know that it will be the max, uh, minimum approach right but it turned out to be so which is great you will add fun 2 3 4 and then 5 right that is fifth step is the left step all others are right steps okay so let us move to the code i hope the approach was clear to you right okay so here we are so before starting with the code i would like to request you to please 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 do consider subscribing to my channel right first i will make the d as absolute value of d because that only i care about now in sum equals to zero steps equals to zero now what will i do i will say while my sum is less than d or take care of the or operator i need any of the two condition to be false uh, to be true to uh, make this work right sum minus d let us take it in a bracket and let us take the absolute value of it if this difference if this difference is not equals to zero uh, not e not even in that case step plus plus and then sum plus equals to step now only thing you have to do it on step this is the only case you have to handle and let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine there has been some mistake guys step was not degraded oh it is steps so it will be steps here steps here and steps here let us try to compile and run it in the meantime do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible share it with your friends and if some of your friends are not doing the PODD encourage them to I surely believe that this will actually increase your DSS skills submit your question and let us try to see if it works working fine 149 district and tomorrow we will be breaking the 150 that is the one and a half century and be there with me when i break this record okay so thank you for watching have a nice day